from Tasmania, trained by Arthur Patmore. Alistair Cox, a long-time starter, now starting supervisor instructions to them, and there is Vern Chapman, starter for his second stall gift, wishing everybody the best of luck in the stall gift final. The distance, 120 metres. Just an instruction went over then, Graham, that uh, the runners are to be left alone as they uh, pass through the right the tape. Field of five for the 101st running five for the 101st running of the Easter gift. Riddick in red, Perry white, Guest in blue, Glassford in yellow, Galeri in green. As soon as they're steady, Vern Chapman will call them to the set position and then they'll be off. Very quiet. Racing in the 82, Gift and Galeri got away pretty well on the outside. Look at Perry in white. He hasn't caught them as yet with 65 to go. Now Perry starts to stretch out. Galeri's still in front. It's going to be close. Galeri is hanging on Perry. Galeri and Perry. Perry wins the gift. Chris Perry, he had to work hard, and he just caught Mick Galeri across on the outside in green, right on the distance. Tremendous run from Chris Perry. The bookmakers were right on line at 10 to 1 on. Chris Perry wins the 1982 Stall Easter gift. 12.19. Fantastic run in the final. Great, it was a great uh, run, Graham, but he really had to work hard to uh, get over the top of Mick Galeri. Mick Galeri hung on and hung on and uh, certainly wasn't going to give it up uh, easy. And that uh, that's the winner, Chris Perry, there going down now. And the official uh, colour goes up. Chris Perry, the winner from uh, would be Mick uh, Galeri. Galeri, and I think Glassford probably just got in third. for third place. The winner, Chris Perry from Malvern, running in white, lane two off seven metres. Somewhere in the middle there is uh, Chris Perry, uh, and somewhere in the middle of that is our trackside interviewer, John White. Are you taking out the 1982 stall gift, Chris? You had to work pretty hard to win the gift. Oh, I think you'd have to win to 